Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Star Control Origins. It's by Stardock Entertainment and it released on September 20th, 2018. I knew the release date was coming up soon, but I haven't actually gotten any press releases or anything from Stardock Entertainment lately. And they are really good about sending me you know, information and all the stuff that I need for the big releases that they have. And I, I maybe I missed the GDPR thing. I don't know. I'll have to check in with them, see what's going down. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I did do a first look video on this back in the day. It was a demo or something I got to play around with, and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, so we're going to hop in, we're going to start playing. But before we do that, we're going to go watch the opening cinematic. Enjoy. Singularity formed, its creators uplifted into something beyond our understanding. These beings, now known as the Lexites, left Earth, traveling to multiple planets in our solar system, before vanishing altogether. This is why we are here. Welcome to Star Control, a state-of-the-art international space agency, tasked with the exploration of our solar system and the defense of Earth. Here resides the world's brightest minds and greatest technology, brought together by a strong curiosity to discover the unknown. Help us pioneer the future. Join today. All right, there you go. Let's go save the universe, shall we? We need you to save the universe. No pressure. That's, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I have absolutely no idea what the story mode entails, to be honest. I never played the original games, if I recall correctly. Oh, more stuff. We believe this is an alien transmission. And this is originating from where, exactly? It's local. Triton. Recall the captain. Tell him that he's needed. He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator. Aw, oh, yeah, I must be the captain. I'm Captain Crunch. And I probably will be. Alright, there we go. Verify identity. Top secret, Captain... Crunch. It's, just, it's too... Yeah, sure. We're Captain Crunch. To Captain Crunch. Star Control. I know it's Captain. I, I, I'm i aware. It's, it's fine. Star Control Command. Reactivation. Captain Crunch, you have been recalled in, or to duty. I was going to say into duty. Please report to the UES Vindicator for a high priority mission. Commander Skyla will be waiting for your arrival. Mission difficulty. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with normal because, you know, I'm me. And considering the prompts there, it looks like it indeed does have controller support. I'm going to be trying with the keyboard and mouse, but we'll see. Maybe I switch to the controller? I don't know. Look how pretty it looks. It looks so good. I want to go kill stuff. I want to save the galaxy by destroying things. Seems counterproductive, doesn't it? It's, it's fine. It's, it's probably fine. 
Let's kill the bad guys and make the universe, the galaxy. I, was, I guess it was universe. The universe safe for all mankind and other alien species. The last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Thank you. Time to get started. All right. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. Uh, okay. Oh, well, what do we know about the radio signal? It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. I have. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. Hmm. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. Uh, what should I do to reach Triton? Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. <laughs> okay. I'm ordered to not die. Should I attempt to make contact with the alien? If you believe it's safe to do so, yes. Just please be careful, Captain. And don't die. Got it. Um, does this super code or supersede our mission to investigate the Lexites? Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. Okay, do we know why the Lexites left? I don't know who or what the Lexites are. We still are. have no idea. For post-humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as much as us original versions like to. <laughs> We've combed over their facility on the moon, hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising, considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs. Maybe bored of our smell. Bored of our smell, really? That's what you're bringing to the table? Alright, that's fine. Uh, do we know where they went? After they left Earth in 2085, we know they set up on the moon for a short while, but that was just a staging area. So they're out there somewhere. Okay, are they dangerous? Well, they're essentially human, so yes. But even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Well, that's good at least. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. I guess that's enough about the Lexites. Sure, Captain. Any advice on the actual journey to Triton? You've already forgotten how to captain a starship, Captain? Maybe? That's not a good sign. Nope. What do you want to know? Uh, how do I fly my ship, boy? You use your thrusters to fly forward and steer. Uh-huh. Knowing your fondness of old computers, you probably have configured your maneuvering thrusters to be the left and right cursor keys, and thrust will be the up key. Nope. Braking maneuvers typically require you to turn the entire ship around and thrust in the opposite direction. Oh, good. That's the basics, at least. If you want to refresh your combat maneuvering skills, you can visit the training facility at Ceres as well. <laughs> Okay, how do I visit planets? Your ship's computer will automatically put the ship into a safe orbit of any planet in the solar system once you get close enough to it. Scanning the planet from orbit will reveal items and resources of interest, as well as potential landing zones you can send your landing craft to. Sweet. Uh, how do I upgrade? We have limited resources here right now, Captain. We used up a lot rushing the construction of that vessel. If you find raw materials on any worlds in the system, you can return with them here. We'll calculate what they're worth and present this to you as resource units, or RU. R R you can R use RU to purchase new components for your ship. Or you can use RU. No. So that's it, thanks. Hope that helps, Captain. Uh, maybe. Okay, let's get started. Star Control has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this mission. It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. Sweet. Oh, cursor doesn't lock to the screen. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'll, I'll, yeah, I totally won't it's lose it. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. 
If we want to make any more Vindicator class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Of course you are. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Sweet. Good luck. And please hurry. Okay. There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. All right, bye. Okay, yeah, it does does not stay. Um I guess I'm going up that way. Star control. Okay, this is scary. Oh god, oh god, I'm going to hit something. Oh god. Oh god. Ugh. I totally meant to do that. Alright. So we've nearly made it to... I should have probably stopped at the training facility that they purposefully placed right in my path. So I couldn't conceivably possibly miss it. Okay. That put me in orbit, right? That's what I thought was going to happen. Captain, we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. Okay. That's fair. Ah, uh, Let's go. And do it. Um, oh, oh, oh god, oh god. This wasn't in the demo. This is cool. I'm not sure how I feel about my mouse, like, disappearing on me, but that's okay. Whee! Can I, can I jump? Oh, sorry. Hey, those controls aren't going to help me much. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, that, that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Okay, so don't don't drive, hover, fly over uh, geysers. Aha! And we're on the dark side of the moon. Oh, and look over here. Uh, A to investigate. Can I left click or enter E E? I should probably disconnect my controller before I. Uh play this again just so I have the actual keyboard commands and prompts before me. Oh, hello. You actually came. Hi. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. Is that good? I feel like that's not good. Uh, who are you? Your friends? Maybe? I am Chief Viscosity Officer yes. Windu of the Tyron. Yes. Nice to meet you, Wimdu. I'm a human. Of Earth. You think it's nice to meet me? I do. That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. Okay, well, what are you doing on Triton, Wimdu? It's a funny story. you like it. Okay. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. That's not funny. They're kind of our friends. Doesn't sound like it. Uh, if people shoot at you, they're not really your friends. Why they shoot you down? Then I'm going to go with uh, if they shoot at you. Why they're not really your friends. That makes so much sense when you say it that way. I thought so too. We're actually trying to protect you from the scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. Thank you. And because we knew the scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. Cool. At least we were, until a few months ago. Uh -huh, what happened then? The scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. <laughs> we were on our way here to stall them, which we did, by getting shot down by them. Well... Hence the distress call. Well, it seems like you need more help from us than the other way around. No, we better back, get back to Earth to warn them about the uh, Scribe. You probably should. The Scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Okay. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. Hmm. The good news is, we can help you. By getting shot down somewhere? If you help us first. 
okay. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Our hyperwave radio was one of them, which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. That does seem bad. Now, we might actually be able to repair all that damage, but we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. <laughs> I like it. You can fix half your ship falling off? We can? Kudos. I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, we are really good at our jobs here. I believe it. Okay, looks like you're incredibly good at your jobs. Didn't he just say that? You know what? That's fine. Where did the other half of the ship go? It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. Sarcasm. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. <laughs> Though if I had to guess, I'd say it was around one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not starve to death far from home. <laughs> those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. Sweet. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. <laughs> um... Okay, before we help, we had some questions. We'd be happy to help, just wait here. Let's talk about the help you're going to offer us first. Um, sure. The biggest help I could offer is this. We'll be your friends. And not just me and my crew. All Taiwan everywhere. Nice. We'll share technology. Nice. And explain how the galaxy works. And how to avoid getting killed by the scribe. Yeah. We've been not getting killed by the scribe for a while now. Well, that's good. Not that I'm bragging. Not much of a brag, buddy. Okay. I'm bragging a little. <laughs> yeah. So, will you help? Yeah, we'll, we'll help. Uh... Great! We'll give you so many hugs if you manage uh... to succeed. Nah. Okay, sounds good. Let's get to it. Great! Okay, um... Well, that was the thing that went down. Uh, is the other half of the ship on the planet? Or... Ooh, what's this? It looks shiny. Resource collected. Ooh. Press tab to view your inventory and fleet status screen. Uh-huh. Is that my ship up there? I think it is. I don't suppose we have a map. Oh, some more resources over here. Whee! Okay, well, it says tab. Oh, we have a multitude of landers. Nice. Um, I, uh, oh wait, sector map? That's not going to be here. Oh gosh, that's, no. Too big for my, my poor little mind to control. I feel like there should be a jump button somewhere. Well, another resource thingy over here. And our friends are over here. I suppose we need to return. Uh, okay. And just oh, oh, oh! I, I've hit, I've hit a button. It did a thing. Okay. Well, I mean, as as much fun as it is to drive around these things. And, oh, wait, 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 there's a ramp there. You know we got to at least try the ramp. It's going to get us killed, I can almost guarantee it. I actually don't think we can actually go up the, the ramp, but maybe. Whee! Ugh. All right, let's get out of here. It's enough driving in, in squared circles and circle squares and things. You just hit escape and you leave. Oh, okay. So we brought back some stuff. Um, well, that was super fun times. 
So, uh, do we, do we, we hit escape a second time. And now what are we supposed to do? We need to find the other half of his ship on one of our larger blue planets. Well, I feel like, I feel like oddly, is Neptune supposed to be big? Oh, no, 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 I want to land on the moon. No. Still don't want to land on the moon. Is Neptune bigger than the Earth? I didn't think so. I thought Neptune was smaller. I thought it was one of the smallest planets. It's possible that I am wrong. Do we want to go to star control or... Like, I'm not even sure what to do at this point. Captain, you survived! I did. Uh, yeah. But tell me, Captain, what did you find out on Triton? Uh, there was a cool alien there. There was a kind of sticky alien there. Cool alien. What? You tell the commander everything? Well, I mean, not everything. Everything pertinent. Well, it sounds like you did the right thing offering to help, Captain. Our exobiologists have been studying the recordings of your conversation with the alien. Based on their word choice, blinking, and overall clamminess levels, <laughs> we believe that this one was genuinely in fear for his life. Overall so we've come to a conclusion. Levels. We want you to help them. I was already going to. This is too great an opportunity to pass up. Just remain cautious. There's no reason to trust these Taiwan fully just yet. I'm willing to. He said he's missing like half his ship. Well, if what this Taiwan says about the scribe is even remotely true, I think we need to help. The chance to establish friendly relations with an alien civilization is too great to pass up. Especially if they can in any way help us stop a threat to our civilization. Go find the missing parts of their ship, Captain. They should be around here somewhere. Uh-huh. Um... Well, well, let's get back to work. Good luck, Captain. I mean, I am, I am all for it. Thank you. Well, um, we want to land on Earth, maybe? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Let's bounce You're over Earth. No, I'm How not. How did your mission to help the alien go? It didn't go anywhere. Good luck, Captain. Like, see, you're you're orbiting Earth. I want to actually visit Earth. You're back. Okay, all right. How did your yeah, mission yeah, yeah, to help yeah, the yeah, alien go? What does this do? You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. Good luck, Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so it's clearly not on Earth. Oh, what happens if we go into the... Let's not try it. What happens if we go into the sun? Oh, we're just going to go chill over by Venus. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. We'll need to find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. Okay, we'll go hang out at Venus. It's fine. There's a training facility. Well, I guess we'll go through the training facility. Why not? Welcome to Ceres, Captain. Thank you. The station was designed to test the military capabilities of newly deployed ships as well as the tactical abilities of the captains. You passed all of this years ago, although we still have uh, test drones available if you want to brush up on your skills. Alright, let's run a trial. Uh, what sort of trial would I like to run? Well, if you're asking me, I would like to run a targeting trial. Pick my ship. Well, I don't have a lot of ships to choose from, so... Oh, yeah! I, I vaguely remember this now. I did terrible at this game now. I did okay. I had a few ships that I really liked and that I did okay at. Oh! Oh, it's just out of range. Useful. 
Well, my targeting capabilities are pretty bad, I would have to say. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh gosh, she bounced off the planet and so did I. Uh. Well, this could take the, literally the entire episode. Oh, let's just bounce off the planet again. Uh. I'm not doing this right. I'm sure you've noticed this. Oh, Like, my leading's pretty on point. It's, oops, it's everything else that's a little bit off. Ugh. This ship does not handle well. I wonder what my, um... You know, maybe, maybe we should just use the controller. Maybe I would do slightly better with the controller. I don't know how to... Oh, I, said, I don't know how to thrust, but I figured it out. R2 is... Oh, R2 is our basic nuke, huh? Oh, the area is getting smaller. They're tired of me flying around and missing. I did it! I'm a hero! Look at that. See that? I shot him down immediately. I know, I am pretty impressive. Let's go back to talking about what a hero I am. I'd like to run another trial. Um, eh, um, yeah, we'll do a combat trial, because there's no way this ends poorly. Alright, what is that thing? That looks like that's a bomb. Oh, no. Alright, front. Oh, gosh! Oh, I'm so bad at the. Oh, 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 oh. Yay, I did it totally flawlessly without any problems whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know if I like the controller right now. I mean, I could probably get used to it. I think I prefer. I think I prefer the keyboard and a mouse. Great work! Yeah, I thought so. Um. The advanced new go away. Remember that you'll need to do something. Uh, would you like another tr run? Sure. Throw everything you got at me. All right. Yeah. We're pretty upset if you blow up the ship. Yeah. Bring it on. Let's do this. Oh, this is not going well. There's so many things that want me dead. And I, I feel a little bit better that time. I feel like I did a little bit better. Okay. Alright, I can handle that ship. Oh boy, am I very, very awkward with it. Um, no, I think I'm good. I think I, I have what I what I need. Uh no, we're we're good. Um yeah, no, we're 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 leaving. Thanks for your very odd training. Okay, well, is there something that gives me any kind of indication as to what I should be doing or how I can do something? These are mission items. Can I use them? Fleet status modules. I don't seem to have any additional modules. Uh-huh. Objective. Find the space... Uh, the missing ship pieces from somewhere in the solar system. Oh, well, that's super fantastic. Oh, wait. Hold on. Are we zooming in on the soul system? I'm already in the soul system. I don't need the autopilot. That doesn't help me at all. Well, do you guys see anything that looks like a half of a spaceship? It's one of our larger blue planets. The only large blue planet I can think of would be Earth and Neptune. Is there another one that I'm unaware of? What's that blue planet? Is that even in our solar system? What's that blue planet over there? So it's what? Mercury, Venus, 
Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Is Jupiter next? Oh my gosh, I, I don't even remember astrology at all. We fly very slowly, I just want to point that out. And then Saturn, and then Uranus, or Uranus, as they decided to call it. Uh, and then it was Neptune, and well, I guess we're going to, to Uranus. No landable surface. Well, that doesn't bode what? Wait, what was that? Well, that doesn't bode well. Okay. Well, it is a gas giant. I guess we'll go to Oberon. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. All right, cool. Let's go. Oh god, there's no way this ends well. It it ended fine. All right, gobble gobble some calcium. What what do we got here? Is this the other half of the ship? I feel like this is the other this half of the ship. This looks like the part of the ship that friendly slug is missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. We. All right, sorry. It's weird how my like. My right um, strafe button and my uh, use button are the same button. I'm sure I like that. Woohoo! Well, give me some. Ooh, something over here. What's that? Ooh, I got some str strontium. I can't get back to the ship. I tried to jump. It didn't work. <laughs> Please, I want to live. It's fine. All right, I I'm going to assume maybe possibly that that's it. That is literally all that's on Oberon. Okay. So we're going to hit escape and we're taking off going back vertical, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we have half the ship. I guess that's good. Um, and then I said our inner solar system area. I think there's anything on the moon? Oh, what's this? Hello? Uh oh, it's a probe. Hail. Scan it. Scan it. Vessel does not match patterns for any authorized sentient being. A authorized? EM broadcast detected. Spectrum analysis. Technological development level T3. Uh huh. 2D image in broadcast identified. Processing. Facial edge discrimination does not match known sentience in this sector. You are not a Taiwan. Who are you? No, no, we're, we're Taiwan. Check again. Remain where you are. A scribe Lenik has been notified of your unauthorized existence and is approaching this sector now. Oh. Hold. Transmission incoming. New orders received. Local fleet probe vessel zero will clear system of unauthorized organic vessels. Are you well? Continue to remain where you are. Uh huh. Yeah, about that. We gonna have a problem if you think you and I are going to be uh, battling, and you're gonna come out on top. Holy heck! That was a lot of uh, hatred. Oh, you can just like fire at whatever angle you want. Oh, couldn't turn fast enough. Where's my tactical nuke? We are so far apart right now. Oh, I nailed him dead on. You see that? That was precision shooting right there. 340 RU scavenged from the enemy fleet. Yeah, how'd that work out for you, buddy? Huh? How'd that work out? It didn't, did it? What'd you learn? Now we're probably all going to die now because I did a horrible thing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're about out of time for the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. I have no idea what I'm doing still, as I'm sure you're well aware of. But I'm having fun doing it either way. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like I said near the beginning... 
If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and land on Mars. Sir, we're detecting two unidentified objects on the surface of Mars. Is this something to do with the Lexites or something else entirely? Anyhow, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, tons of other new games coming out, tons of series, first look videos, you name it, it's there. Until the very next episode, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>